Analytic Teams. In today's video, we are going to discuss about an uh, important topic, which is a case study on electromagnetic pollutions. In today's scenario, we are often exposed to electromagnetic fields, and it leads to electromagnetic pollutions. So now we have a group of students. We are going to uh, discuss about this uh, uh, seriousness of electromagnetic pollutions, and they are going to discuss about few cities which are being highly exposed to this electromagnetic pollutions. So without much ado, we uh, let's get into the video. So electromagnetic field pollution means uh, too much of invisible radiation in our surroundings. There are two main types, which is a natural EMF pollution and artificial EMF pollution. So obviously natural are from the earth and sun, and uh, which is called natural EMF pollution. And artificial EMF pollutions are from the human made devices. Nowadays, uh, in the growth of technologies, telecommunication, wireless devices, EMF pollution, uh, which is caused by artificial EMF pollution, is being increased. So let us uh, discuss about real-time examples. Now let us discuss about the uh, real-time examples of which is causing, which is caused by EMF pollution in uh, urban areas. In Delhi, too many mobile towers on buildings in Mumbai, dense Wi-Fi in apartments and offices. In Chennai, metro trains emit strong EMFs. In village areas, Singapuram, Singapuram, mobile towers near farming land. In Palakkad, EMF power uh, power stations. In Chikmagalur, mobile power mobile phone usage increasing EMF. So there are a lot of cities uh, which are being highly exposed to this uh, electromagnetic fields and that, that has been listed by uh, Swati. So now we will see about what are its effects. EMF exposure causes both uh, human and uh, environmental effects. The human effects includes headaches, sleeplessness, stress, anxiety, and uh, concentration, lack of concentration. In uh, environmental effects, uh, not only human affected by this, but uh, also wildlife also affected by this. Both uh, bees and birds are uh, Lost their shelter. Uh, lost their uh, navigation uh, navigation power due to this uh, waves caused by EMFs. So next topic is I'm going to share a measure measurement and monitoring of EMF pollution. First of all, why we want to measure and monitor EMF pollution? So uh, EMF uh, electromagnetic field causes so many radiations. Uh, uh, it is an enormous harmful effects caused by human beings like uh, using digital devices like TV, mobile phone, etc. So by uh, measuring the measuring and monitoring this EMF pollution, we can feel safety and uh, we can compliance with uh, international standards. So there are so many parameters and instruments is there to measure and monitor uh, an EMF pollution. So uh, monitoring uh, measurement is uh, collecting some data by using so many uh, instruments and by setup of monitoring uh, locations, etc. So yes, in conclusion, these electromagnetic field pollutions are, have become a very important part of our daily urban lives, which are driven by a lot of technologies, communication, networks, and even more. So these pollutions cannot be stopped at a while. So, but this can be stopped by taking uh, measures and it can be managed and it could be find a balance by further researches, planning, critical plannings and clear properties and values according to the pollutions. So with this, we could find a solution for this. So, like what rightly said by our students, the, in today's scenario, the scenarios, the so-called techno cities or metro cities like uh, Chennai, Mumbai, Delhi, and Coimbatore and all are, are uh, severe uh, places which are being affected by this electromagnetic pollutions because of large amount of mobile towers being erected and large amount of uh, uh, towers for uh, television, satellites and all. So if because of these, these cities are being highly uh, at the risk point of uh, being exposed to this electromagnetic pollutions. So in today's scenario, we people are even being addicted more to this more to these kind of technologies. So these kind of technologies is a threat and also a boon too. So it all depends on who's and it is. So how we are using it, it uh, leads to a boon and to a threat. So you young people, please uh, use your uh, mobile phones and electronic gadgets in a safer manner so that it may give you uh, a technology addicted life in future. So. Uh, 
be aware of what you are using and how you are using. That is what we would like to conclude in this video. So hope this video it is useful to you. It is not just a case study video, it is an awareness video so that you can uh, learn about your area and how much it is being affected with electromagnetic pollutions. So we will meet in the next video. Thanks you, thank you, thanks for listening.